How's everybody doing? In today's video, I'm gonna be trying something that I've actually never tried before, and that is a stone guitar pick. So I recently became aware of these. There's a few companies that do it. They're kind of like smaller boutique companies, and the picks are on the expensive side because obviously they have to be hand beveled, but they're not really crazy expensive compared with other hand beveled picks. And I thought it might be interesting to see what they sound like, what they feel like, how they would feel to grip, so anyway, the one that I have today is from a company called Timber Tones, which I think is out of the UK, could be wrong. Um, basically, I think they get their name because they do a lot of wood picks as well, hence Timber Tones, but they also do stone picks, metal ones, different types of minerals and stones. And I thought it'd be kind of interesting. I think this pick was around 12 to $15. So yeah, I just got this. It's basically a blue sort of stone. I'm going to open it now. Pretty standard presentation. And there's the pick for you. It is really cool looking. It looks like kind of turquoise, although it's not actually turquoise, I don't think. It's just sort of a blue looking stone it's very smooth. I think they said they were about two and a half millimeters. I have the pick that I normally use, which is a 1.4 Altex, I think, or 1.38, whatever they are. So side by side for size, they're actually very similar. The shape of the stone pick's a little bit more standard versus obviously Jazz 3 shape, but it doesn't seem really cumbersome for being two and a half mil. And I think that's partly because the back of it is the thickest. And then something that's kind of hard to realize, I don't even know if you'd be able to see on here, but as you approach the tip, for about maybe half or a third of the pick, it tapers down quite a bit. So actually that might make it a lot smoother feeling. The grip is actually really good. I mean, my hands are dry, I'm not sweating or anything yet, but it actually feels pretty grippy just holding it loosely. Hmm. I'm trying to think of something to compare it to, but I really can't. Obviously, there's no amp sound. I'm just trying to hear how it interacts with the strings. That's actually more pleasant than I expected. I like that it's not quite a standard shape. It's almost halfway between a standard shape and a Jazz 3 shape. really not as cumbersome as I would expect, which is pretty nice actually. Quite frankly, I was really expecting this to be kind of like a, I don't want to say novelty thing, but I didn't expect it to actually feel as normal as it does considering how weird it is, the material and the thickness of it compared to what I usually play. Definitely, obviously has no give, but that's why I like Altex picks, they don't really give. So, 
honestly, I'm getting along with this pretty well. I'm going to bring in some amp volume, but I'm keeping it on the camera mic so that you can just obviously hear how it blends. Well, I have to say, I like this more than I thought I would. I thought it was just going to be something kind of odd, but actually, it seems pretty useful. I just strummed pretty hard with it in an attempt to see if it would crack, and I was a little bit afraid that it might, but it didn't. It did, however, immediately make my strings dark where it touched them, but it doesn't seem like the pick is damaged at all. Just for the sake of comparison, I know not everybody uses a Jazz 3, but this is what my pick normally would sound like acoustically. And here's the stone pick. It's not drastically different, this being such a hard material, but there is a little bit more crispness on the release of this. You know, I have to say, I'm really impressed with this for how usable it feels, being two and a half mil. I almost think that that's the wrong spec because of how normal it feels. I'm gonna have to double check that. Okay, yeah, it says they're typically two and a half millimeters thick, chamfering down to a playing tip at 0 0.7, which is why I guess it feels so normal. It also, I'm confirming that it was actually $12. thing with hitting that switch, something that happens for me all the time, 
is in addition to getting pick scratches right here on my guitar, I'll have them all around the switch because I'll just change real quick with my thumb and then the pick hits the body. I wonder this being stone, if it's going to do more damage over time if I were to use this long term. But again, I'm actually really impressed with how good this feels. And I think I might actually just be able to jump right into playing with this, practicing, and give it a long term durability test, I suppose. Feels really good, I'm surprised. Also listen to the difference when you put down a regular pick and this one. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. That is the Timbertones Stone Guitar Pick. You know what? I have another pick from Timbertones. I was going to wait to review it, but I think I'll do that one next because I'm so impressed with this. And actually, I'm going to use this in my next full-on practice session. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.